Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hello everyone We still in subtopic 2.2b Solving quadratic equation As I told you before To solve quadratic equation In our syllabus There are three method Which is Factorization Computing the square And using quadratic formula But in this video We will only focus on How to solve quadratic equation By using completing the square Penyempurnaan kuasa 2 2.2b part 2 Solve quadratic equation By completing the square To solve quadratic equation by using completing the square Actually, we have learned this formula before Okay, the formula in our secondary school Okay, so in this video, I will teach you how I did completing the square Okay, uh, actually my method is based on this formula But uh, we don't need to remember this formula Okay, I call it teknik sarang. Sarang in English is NAS. Okay, so let's check it out. Example 2. A. Solve x squared plus x minus 12 equal to 0 by using completing the square. We have x squared plus x minus 12 equal to 0 Before we proceed, make sure the coefficient of x squared is 1 If not, factorize first Make sure you factorize first before you proceed To use completing the square using my method Usually, I will draw two bracket first the first bracket and another bracket between the bracket put minus always put minus and outside of the bracket put square here also square okay so this is what i call sarang or in english nas now Let's put in the content of the bracket. Okay, so here, since we have x squared, that means here we write x. If here plus, that means we write plus. If minus, we write minus. Okay, the coefficient of x, the value of b, is 1 so here we write 1 make sure 1 always divided by 2 if you refer to the formula that we learn in secondary school so we have b over 2a so since we have already a here 1 so uh, literally we follow the formula actually so, when we have 1 over 2 here, positive 1 over 2, here also 1 over 2. And behind the bracket, just write negative 12. So, negative 12 here equal to 0. So, this is what I call teknik sarang. Okay, now we can proceed. So, simplify. X plus 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 2 squared 1 over 4 minus 12 equal to 0. So, simplify again. X plus 1 over 2 squared negative 1 over 4 negative 12 negative 1 over 4 minus 12 
negative 49 over 4 equal to 0. Since this question asks us to solve this quadratic equation, so we need to make x as a subject. So first, we have x plus 1 over 2 squared equal to uh, transfer 49 over 4 here so we have 49 over 4 okay uh, left hand side we have squared that's mean we need to write it like this x plus 1 over 2 since we have squared that means now we have square root 49 over 4 don't forget to write plus minus here okay after this you will have to remember this okay the concept you will learn in last chapter so now we have x plus 1 over 2 equal to plus minus set 49 over 4 so x plus 1 over 2 equal to set 49 over 4 7 over 2 so to solve we separate into two part the first part the positive one x plus 1 over 2 equal to 7 over 2 and another one is the negative one x plus 1 over 2 equal to negative 7 over 2 so make x as a subject x equal to 7 over 2 minus 1 over 2 3 and this one x equal to negative 7 over 2 minus 1 over 2 so we have negative 4 the final answer is x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 4. Example 2b, solve 2x squared plus 2x minus 40 equal to 0 by using completing the square. For example 2b, we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 40 equal to 0 as I told you before uh, before we proceed with completing the square make sure the coefficient of x squared is 1 so in this question we have coefficient 2 okay that means we need to factorize first so 2 factorize 2 bracket so now we when we factorize 2 we have x squared plus x minus 20 equal to 0 0 divided by 2 0 so we have x squared plus x minus 20 equal to 0 now we have quadratic with coefficient of x squared is 1 uh, that means we can proceed with completing the square again I will draw two bracket the first bracket and the second bracket between the bracket put minus sign and outside the bracket put square Okay, the second bracket also square. Okay, now we can write the content inside the bracket. Okay, so we have x squared plus x. That means x squared just write x. So this one is plus. So plus. If the one that I circle is minus, so make sure you write minus in the bracket okay and then the coefficient of x uh, which is the value of b is 1 
So that means here 1 uh, Always divide by 2 Okay, the second bracket Just write this value 1 over 2 This value 1 over 2 Okay, since we have plus So write plus here If we have minus Don't forget to write minus here And then Behind the bracket Negative 20 So just write negative 20 here Equal to 0 So now we have done the completing the square Okay, to find the value of x We need to simplify this equation So now we have x plus 1 over 2 squared Minus positive 1 over 2 squared 1 over 4 Minus 20 equal to 0 So x plus 1 over 2 squared Negative 1 over 4 minus 20 Negative 81 over 4 equal to 0 Okay Next we have x plus 1 over 2 squared Equal to 81 over 4 here So 81 over 4 Since we have squared at the left hand side So now we have x plus 1 over 2 Equal to square root of 81 over 4 Again, don't forget the plus minus Okay, so to find the value of x, we need to separate into 2 x plus 1 over 2 equal to Say 81 over 4 Plus minus uh, 81 over 4 uh, 9 over 2 And then we separate x plus 1 over 2 Equal to Positive 9 over 2 And X plus 1 over 2 Equal to Negative 9 over 2 So The final answer is X equal to 9 over 2 plus Sorry 9 over 2 minus 1 over 2 4 And another one is X equal to Negative 9 over 2 Minus 1 over 2 Negative 5 So this is the final answer X equal to 4 And X equal to negative 5 Sorry, it's quite messy here Please bear in mind This technique is only my suggestion. If you comfortable with another technique such as using the secondary school formula that I told you before, just proceed with that. In the next video, we still learn how to solve quadratic equation but with another method that is using formula. See you again. Bye.